Mackenzie, and this is Will, aka Pip and Bogo. Pack your bags and follow along as we pursue the simple life, traveling the world by foot and wind. Be sure to subscribe and welcome to the Lost Compass. Will Andrews and Kinsey Valley. Okay, so Will mm -hmm. and Kinsey. And last name again? Valley. Valley. Will Andrews and Kinsey Valley. Will Andrews and Kinsey Valley. Yes, okay. So this is how we do packet pickup now. It's all curbside. Stay in your vehicle. But at least it's still letting us race. Am I able to pick up, I'm talking to my brother right now, Bobby Andrews. Can I pick up his right now? Yeah, what race is he running? He's doing the 100 miler? Yeah. Yeah. He had a sweatshirt that, uh, that the 100 milers get, uh -huh. but he also ordered two men's medium shirts. That, that you're gonna have to give me the medium, bro. Yeah, hey, there you go. <laughs> All right, awesome. All right, have a good run, Yeah, guys. thank you so much. Bye. The Badger Mountain Challenge is located in Richland, Washington, about two and a half hours south of Spokane. They offer race distances from 15K all the way up to 100 miles. Today, me and Kenzie would be doing the 50 miler, while my brother, Real Deal Running, aka Bobby, and our friend Natalie would be doing the 100 miler. The entire 50 mile course has approximately seven and a half miles of pavement, while the rest of the trails is dirt and rocks. There's several steep 800 to 1,000 foot climbs with a total elevation change of 6,500 feet for the 50 milers and 13,000 feet for the 100 milers. Aid stations are located approximately every three to seven miles. This region is unique in that there are very few native trees, so a person can see for miles in all directions, but that means that the wind speed can blow more than 50 miles per hour on the exposed ridges. All the runners were anxious to get started as we listened to the pre-race speech, talking about course markings, etc. It was super windy with low temperatures. This year, because of COVID, they ended up starting everybody in small groups, which was actually pretty nice because it didn't seem to make the race start such a cluster. All right, just getting to the top of Badger Mountain, like 20 minutes in. <laughs> A lot of day left. Are you feeling it? No, I'm just kidding. Nah, we feel good. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll see you at the next one. Okay, eat some food, okay? Love you. All right, have, have drink fun. some water. Bye. Drink some water. Okay, thank you guys for meeting us. Yeah, bye. Love bye. you. Love you too. Have yeah. fun. Once we left the first aid station, it was time for us to hit another climb. They call this Candy Mountain. And uh, the, f the way up there is a bunch of switchbacks and it's very exposed, so it's rather windy up there, especially at the top. But once we reached the top, we then descended down towards the highway and that, that part was pretty steep, so we knew it was gonna be brutal coming back. Um, but it led us to under a tunnel which then we went onto paved roads and headed towards the vineyards. Starting one of our kind of 
kind of nasty little climbs. You can't really tell how steep it is, but these yeah. are the start of the Jeep trails at the Badger 50 mile. Steep, dusty. Yeah, just the way we like it. Right. Might not be able to get a good perspective here how steep this is, but. As the Jeep trails were coming to an end, we could actually see for the first time McBee Ridge. And the video doesn't do it justice, but I'm extremely happy we only had to do that thing once. Um, we were excited to get off the Jeep trails just because they were so sandy and just full of dirt. But we knew after that next aid station, we were up for a pretty big task. Unfortunately, we didn't really film much on the way up. I think we were just focused and trying to grind through that thing. So once we got to the top, we started filming a little bit more. All right, up here on McBee Ridge, we are uh, on our way back now. Hit the halfway point, coming back. It's super windy up here, but it's been an awesome day. So um, can't complain about that. Of the way back we really didn't do much filming ultra running is all about riding those highs and lows and unfortunately the last 25 miles of the this race um, we seem to be riding more lows than highs so that doesn't really encourage you to pull your camera out and film all the time but uh, we did get a little bit of footage at the end and all in all the badger mount challenge was an awesome race Real Deal Running ended up going sub 24. Our friend Natalie, she ended up having an awesome race just over 24 hours for her first 100 miles. So super impressive. Uh, thank you to all the volunteers out there. Everybody was awesome. The aid stations were awesome. So I would definitely recommend Badger Mountain if you are uh, located in Washington um, to easy Central Washington race. So. Oh yeah, real <laughs> athlete, real ultra athlete. All right, guys, if you like that kind of content, make sure you follow along very soon because in the next couple months, I'm going to be running the Bryce Canyon 100 miler. Yep, and then Real Deal Running in September is going to be running the Tahoe 200, so we're going to be down in California documenting that. Um, make sure you guys subscribe. Also, if we can bring any more value to you guys maybe tips and tricks and things like that. Let us know in the comments and we'll try to uh, provide that for you guys. So thanks again, make sure you subscribe.